return of property under 17-5-30 because you didn't, because you took the marijuana and the other pieces of evidence from Mr. Williams' home. I don't think the law distinguishes between that. So you would have had to return that property. You still would have to return the property to him. So because at this point in time, he's entitled, or he would have been entitled, he's asked, and Mr. Steele has already already introduced from in the last hearing on the 17th, he's asked me, or he's introduced a letter that he sent to Mr. Bailey saying, hey, I want the, I want the evidence back. Your Honor, but the court did not rule um, that the state had to return uh, that evidence, number one. There was no ruling as to that. The I disagree. Statement. I disagree with you. I disagree. By implication, Judge Newkirk had to have considered the fruit of the poison street. Mr. Steele asked him to do that. And your it's a snapshot in time. So on the 3rd of April, 2017, you didn't have what you have now. And so you're asking me to correct something that is arguably, you know, it's, it's, I mean, is it, can I do that? I mean, and, and if, even if I can, that still runs afoul of 17-5-30. You still would have had to return Mr. Williams' property. And then he, Mr. Steele asked you for the return of that property. And there's no exception under 17-5-30 pretrial that gives you the ability to keep the property. You have to return the property. The property, that, and, and then you took that particular property, in particular his phone, and then you, you know, extricated things out of it, which would be tainted or fruit of the poisonous tree because you didn't have the right to keep that. You didn't have the right to keep that particular evidence under 17-5-30. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. New details this morning in Young Thug's first public court appearance since being arrested on RICO charges. Less than 24 hours ago, the rapper got a big win in the Fulton County courtroom. A judge making the ruling that cell phones and other evidence collected from the rapper's home during a raid could not be used as evidence in his upcoming trial next month. The rapper, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, is accused of being one of the founders of Young Slime Life. That is an alleged gang that prosecutors say is responsible for a lot of violent crime. He's charged along with more than a dozen others. Williams hearing comes after rapper Gunna and another man entered pleas to similar charges. Gunna is now out of jail after reaching that plea agreement. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in and this could be a big win for Young Thug seeing as, you know, they're throwing out, you know, the evidence used against them in a raid that they found, you know, an illegal search. So, you know, they can't use the evidence they found against them. You know, I'm sure a lot of y'all know people, you know, if you've been in the street that have been through something similar, for instance, a friend of mine got caught with a bunch of shit before and, you know, the pullover was illegal. You know, once they spotted that out in court, they pretty much threw out everything he got caught with. So, you know, this is definitely a good sign for Young Thug and hopefully he comes out of this, you know, and when he does, he comes back a better person, you know, does things different, moves better, you know, all that. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.